Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Siren and Frost coming at you again with a third, a part three episode of the deck profiles I've been doing for Revival. Um, and this time in the United Sanctuary, we're going to be going for the next one, which is Genesis. And this is going to be the Genesis Witch deck profile uh, update between Legion and Stride. Um, I'm, I am missing one Legion, though, in this deck, but you know what? One's actually enough, and the other, there's another to replace it, so I'm okay with this build for right now. There's the Genesis is about Soul Charge and Soul Soul Blast, so so let's see how we're gonna do with this. So my starting Vanguard, we're gonna be going with Witch of Prohibitive Book Cinnamon. Anytime that she boot when the when an attack hits a Vanguard during the battle, that this unit boosts that it's a Grade Three or a Greater van Genesis. You may hit the cost. If you do, Soul Charge two, and as long put this in the Soul, and then Soul Charge two more. So. She helps you get a little bit of soul charging now, and plus she can move aside to um, regenerate, replenish your back row, or give you a back row new new unit. So, yeah. So, anyways, she helps you just to soul charge. I could have easily gone with um, Battle Man and Minion Horikari, but that I think that's probably just a little too much. But that's just me. Next for triggers, we're playing four copies of Witch of Big Pots Laurel. Laurier, just for the witch theme sensation. Next, we're playing twelve crits as, as usual. Lemon four lemon lemon chinos. Uh, four which is familiar is Sharuma. Um, Sharuma's ability is put this on top of your deck. So shuffle your deck. Shuffle your deck. If you have a Vanguard with witch in his card name, draw a card. Look at the top three cards from your deck. Search for a card from Mondam, put it into your soul, and put the rest in your drop zone. So, which is probably really good for the Witch Legion as well. So, that's why the little um, cuties in here for. Next, we're playing four copies of Bowman Kakari Hime, just for that, um, um, just for that boost. I mean, whatever. Also, her skill is where it comes quite handy. Put her, in, you just shove her in the soul, and you give your Vanguard or any of your units, just units, um, 3,000 power. So... That is a very cool thing. <clears throat> Next for um, grade ones, we're playing the newest um, witch from the Fires Collection is Witch of Four Witch of Quillpin Quillpin's Eno Neon. Um, it was gonna be Onion, but it was like in a Neon. So, and her ability is Carablast One. When this unit is put into a drop zone from your soul. If you have a Vanguard with Witch in his card name, you may pay the cost. If you do, call this to Rear Guard and it gets plus 2,000 in a turn. So, um, it does have a same little bit of ability as Melissa in a way, but not really a full Melissa thing. So, it does give your, give her 2,000 extra power. So, that to me alone is not a bad thing. Because, um, you can actually use her as a booster, an attacker, and it's very versatile. Genesis, I found out itself, the clan itself, is very versatile in most of their soul charging and soul blasting abilities. Now, if you look at Fenrir, then that's a whole different jest right there. Next, um, we're playing two copies of Witcher Frog's Melissa, just for that superior call ability. Um, then, then we're playing 4G Perfect Guards, um, Garos of the Clan Hell be Heal, because um, this deck will be Counterblast heavy somewhat, but mostly soul blast heavy, but it's mostly half Counterblast as well. So that's why she's in here. She helps you unflip more damage. And then we got four stride, um, stride enablers, um, Mythic Beast Skull. I I told myself I was going to use this strictly for Fenrir, but I figured that if it's out for working any Genesis unit, I don't see what the problem is. So that's why he's in there for. And for um, Grade 2, we're playing the only Legion mate. So we got... Four copies of Witch of Golden Eagles, Jasmine. Jasmine's skill is Carablast 1. When this unit is placed on a Vanguard Circle, if you have a Vanguard Witch in his card name, you pay the cost. If you do, Soul Charge 3 cards, and this unit gets plus 3,000 in the turn. So basically, she's going to be your 12k attacker, um, similar to what Fam is, except Fam um, does it whenever she attacks. Um, whenever she attacks. This one on the spot, she just gets the 3,000 power boost automatically, so... But only after one counter blast and soul charge stream. So that to me is not a bad thing alone. Next, we're playing four copies of Witch of Re Witch of White Rabbit's Cardamon. Cardamon, I think Cardamon. Yeah, 
Counterblast 1. When this unit is placed in a drop zone, oh yeah, it has the same thing as um, Neon. So it does have the same ability as Neon, so there's not really much to say about her. I know this this deck profile is going really fast, I've noticed, because some of the abilities I, I see right now are basically the same from the Grade 2s and Grade 1s. So that alone is not is a good thing. So, And then finally for Grade 2s, we're playing four cop or three copies of Witch of, Witch of Raven's Chamomile. By Carablast 1, you just prepare a card from the soul whenever she is sent from the drop zone from your soul. So, that adds more superior calling, and it adds, um, reformat, reforms your um, formation on your field. Now, for grade 3s, we're playing one, or four copies of Witch of Eagles, Fennel, Fennel, um, the main legion of this deck. Now, her legion skill is Soul Blast 3. During the battle of this unit, this unit legions, at the end of the battle that this unit is attacked the vanguard, you may hit the cause if you do. Look at the top five cards from your deck, search after two cards from which witch in his name from among them, reveal them to your opponent, add them to your hand, and shuffle your deck. And then, when this unit is placed in a vanguard circle, you may hit the cause if you do, soul charge three. So, it has the same, almost the same one ability of, as Jasmine has it, except Jasmine gets the plus 3,000 when she comes onto the field. She just lets you soul charge three cards whenever she comes on the field, so... That, to me, alone was, you know, it's good, because this deck is all about soul charging and soul blasting, and the units I'm going to show you is, you know, it's going to become pretty crazy. And then finally for grade 3s, we're playing four copies of Witch of Wolf Saf um, Saffron, the Witches of Wolf, the Wolf Witch. Um, her limit break 4 is, whenever she's on the Vanguard Circle, when she attacks the Vanguard when she's on the Vanguard Circle, she gets plus 5,000 in a battle. And then the auto ability is, when you're on the rear guard, she only gets plus 2k. So if she will become a 12k attacker um, on the rear guard circle, but that is very good because that adds more pressure to your opponent. Especially with her um, being also a 5k attack, 15k attacker in a vanguard circle. Either way, she is still good and very useful. And now that limit break monsters or um, limit break abilities are starting to come back even more popular now, it's really helpful. So, for um, G units, we're playing two copies of Witch Queen of Holy Water Clove. Um, I do have a serious kind of doubt of playing all four, just because I'm still very, 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 very trying to my very best to figure out if this is going to be the right thing for it. I was actually thinking about writing all four, but I think two might be a good start for me, just to, be, to make it more understandable. Um, the reason why I put two is Soul Bla her ability is Soul Blast 6. When this unit attacks the Vanguard, if you have a heart with Witch in his card name, you may pay the cost. If you do, until the end of the turn, this unit gets as a continuous ability. During your turn, all of your units with Witch in his name gets plus 5,000 power. Then, if you have two or more heart cards, this unit gets plus 1 critical until the end of the turn. Basically, um, I think the best thing you can probably do is Legion first, and then, then next turn you can Stride. But that's just, you know, that might be a big if, if that happens, so... Yeah, and I don't know why the lighting is terrible, guys. Like, I am terribly sorry that it's, you know, kind of weird right now. Like, is it shiny? Is it working? I don't know. Anyways, so we are playing two copies of Goddess of um, Formation, Feminine Dion, Dion. And her ability is Soul Blast 3. When this unit attacks, hits the Vanguard, pay the cost. If you do, choose, look at the top three cards of your deck. Search for one card from among them, put them in your hand, and put the rest in your soul. So that is a free soul charge, and then you can add one card to your hand. So after only soul blast, it, only soul blast three. So um, three less um, soul blasting than um, cloves. And then we're playing four copies of mythical destroyer beast Venar guard because he is a G personal blast, and I have a feeling about G personal blast the same way as you know the witch stride. Um, now his ability is during your break two soul blast six. Choose a face down card named mythical destroyer beast Venar guard. In your G zone, faint and turn and face up. When this unit attacks, here's attacks the vanguard. You may pay the cost. If you do, until the end of this turn, this unit gets this all ability. At the beginning of your drive of your drive step, look at the top four cards from from your deck. Search for up to four cards from among them. Put them in your on top of your deck in any order, and put the rest in the bottom of your deck in any order. So you place. Basically, if you have like all three triggers in your um drive in the, um, the top four cards, you place three of them on top, and then you place the one card down at the bottom. So he does help you stack a little bit in the battle phase, in the drive check phase, and he's really really good. Because if you're playing a twelve card deck, then that's gonna add even more chances. But that's just me. 
So anyways, guys, that is my Genesis upgrade, Genesis Witch deck profile for you guys, and featuring the Stride and the newer support that we got from the Fires Collection, and I believe in the extra boosters. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below, and don't forget to subscribe, like this video, thumbs up for it, and thank you guys for watching, and this is Sarah Frost signing out. Have a great, um, see you guys in the next video. Bye!